Hey, what's going on, people? Your boy, man, Mike, coming at you guys with three things that stood out from the loss against the Chicago Bears. The Atlanta Falcons lost to the Chicago Bears, man, 30-26. And I'm just going to say this, man. Here are three things that stood out to me in that loss. And I don't think anyone could deny these three things for the most part, man. But before we get started, go ahead and hit subscribe button. Tell your friend to come chat Falcons football with your boy. Also, join the man, my membership, $199, $599, $9.99. All right, so let's get straight to it, man. The first one, and I think this is the one that really has me frustrated more than anything, okay? We paid about, what, five, seven million dollars for your boy Todd Gurley. Todd Gurley still has a little bit left, man. Um, those guys had the running game going. Brian Hill, Todd Gurley, those guys, those guys were going great. And then all of a sudden, Mr. Dirt Cutter got the wonderful idea. He was just going to stop running the ball because we only got nine yards and four carries. Well, this is a such thing is keep going until you get something, okay? You got to, you must. In the NFL, even if you're not getting a ton of yards, you have to at least have the threat of running the ball and not just wasting, wasting downs, all right? This is the issue, all right? Your boys were running great. They were breaking, all right? Brian Hill, he broke out for about a 30, 40, or 30 yard touchdown run, okay? He was going good. He and Todd Gurley were going great running the ball well against one of the best defenses in the league and that's Chicago Bears. No one could deny that. So when you look at this, when you have an offensive coordinator with a struggling team with the, like the Atlanta Falcons, man, run a game, they, look, you're going into the fourth quarter with a lead, all right? You're going into the fourth quarter with the lead and everybody knows for the most part the Falcons just have had their issues closing out games especially on the defense side of the ball the defense can't stop a damn cold right now they can't stop anything and you have a lead you're trying to at least milk the clock no your offensive coordinator get the wonderful idea that he's just going to continue to throw the ball even when the running game is going good and his excuse for it his excuse was for it, we only got nine yards. Well, it's not always about running the ball effectively. Sometimes you have to run the ball to run the dang clock out. We've seen this over and over again. I don't know why the Falcons are plagued with just stupid, stupid, stupid offensive coordinators, stupid coaches. You're trying to win games. It's not always about being aggressive. It's about winning games the Falcons had an opportunity to win a game and the Falcons lost the game because Dirk Cutter had the wonderful idea that he was just going to continue to throw the ball and not get anything done that's not aggressive that's ignorant and this is what's wrong with the Atlanta Falcons continue to find themselves in situations where their offensive coordinators their coaches blow the game for them so that's the first one man the running game dirt could have just decided he just want to stop running second one man and the next two are definitely going to tie in together because I, again i don't think anybody at this point um can disagree with it and then the second one defensive creativity the lack of defensive creativity This is what irritates me so bad. There's no creativity. Everyone knows exactly what Dirk Curter, well not Dirk Curter, but Raheem Morris, we know what the Atlanta Falcons are gonna do. They know what the Falcons are gonna do when they get into um, situations where they have the lead going into the fourth quarter. The Falcons are going to play soft. The Falcons are going to be transparent and everybody knows they're going to do this. And uh, look, at, at this point, everybody knows when the Falcons are going to blitz. Everybody knows when the Falcons are going to play in a soft zone. Everyone knows. Play, do something different. This is the issue with the, the Falcons now. It's not necessarily a lack of talent. The Falcons have talent. But the issue with the Atlanta Falcons is the lack of creativity. Do something different. That's the issue, Falcons. Teams know exactly what you 
going to do. This is why they brought in Nick Foles. Because Nick Foles can pick that defense apart. Because they know exactly what they're going to do. So if that was the case, why as you, as a gen, uh, not as a defensive coordinator, Raheem Morris, as a head coach, Thomas, oh, well, not Thomas Dimitrov, GM, uh, Thomas Dimitrov, uh, I'm going to get into that later, but defensive coordinator, head coach, Dan Quinn, if teams know what you're going to do, what's the point? What's the point of continuously staying in something when teams know you're going to do? What are you doing? Because it seems like what you're doing is just not working. Teams are picking you apart, scoring 20 points in the fourth quarter. It happens time after time again. So with that being said, man, the defensive creativity, they're not mixing coverages. They're blitzing when teams know exactly when they're going to blitz. The exact same way, the exact... Everything is just exactly the same. So the second one, obviously, is the creativity on the defensive side of the ball. But I'm going to go back to what I was saying offensively. Offensive, the lack of offensive creativity. Yes, we have Calvin Ridley, who's one of the best young receivers in the game. And he showcased that. But when you have a team like the Chicago Bears, these guys are very good. They have an elite front seven a very good front seven a very good secondary so you're not going to continuously run the same things over and over again and fool these guys you have to do things differently and the lack of creativity on the offensive side of the ball it's just even it's just as bad as the defensive side of it. the lack of creativity for the Atlanta Falcons is killing this team we're not seeing unique r running. We're not seeing unique screens. We're not seeing deep passes, unique deep pass. We're not seeing anything unique. We're seeing the exact same things over and over again. So when it all comes down to it, the Falcons, the running game, Dirt Cutter does not stick with the running game. He wants to pass the ball. And I thought maybe, maybe, just maybe Dirk Cutter would do something different this year. I've been hearing that he's going to change. He's going to run Kyle Shanahan's offense. Nope, didn't fit. Didn't do it. Failed. Went right back to what he knows best, and that's throwing the ball every single down. It's going to get Matt Ryan killed. Second one, uh, again, defensive creativity. No creativity on the defensive side of the ball. Everyone knows the scheme. Everyone knows what you're going to do. Your tails. Everyone knows everything. The offensive lack of creativity. No screens. You're not using your running backs the proper way. You're not using the offensive line and stretch plays. You're not doing anything. So with that being said, let me know what you guys think about this. Leave your comments below. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Your boy, man, Mike Gazard. Man, peace.